Hello, my friend. It is great to see you. I just wanted to chime in. Uh, as you can imagine, this is OBS Studio is a very complex environment. You know, doing live stream work is difficult. There's a lot of techie stuff involved. Um, I'm extremely busy person, as you can imagine. I'm running my own business. I've got two boys. One's in college. One's in high school. The youngest doesn't have a car. I've got to drive him to practice. I've got to drive these kids all over the place. You know, I'm doing my own billing. I'm doing my own contracts and bidding work with my web business. I'm extremely busy. I mean, this this whole channel thing is just you can't imagine how complex it is, right? Uh, you know, producing this stuff and and answering questions. So when you pose a question. It is absolutely crucial to make it easy for me to answer, okay? So what do I mean by that? Okay, so if you're, you know, I noticed that some of the younger people who make, who are maybe gamers or whatever and post a question, they say, oh, I've, you know, I've watched your entire video and it doesn't work. And that's, that's their way of asking for help. It doesn't work. I'm sorry. I just don't have time to research and respond to you and ask you, well, what is the problem? I don't have time <clears throat> to get to the problem. So if you see me responding with a dot or a period, that means, sorry, I have to move on and, and, and tackle the next one that's been, you know, uh, formulated in a more clear manner. Uh, let me give you an example of what it's like to create a question that helps me. So you outline the question and you reference that specific part of the video that you're talking about with a timestamp. And so, for example, if you're watching a video and you have a question at the minute mark, all you have to do is add the minute in your in your question in the comments, a, a one, a colon, and two zeros, and that becomes a link and I can click and watch the video so that I understand what you're asking me and it makes it easy for me to formulate an answer so <laughs> this is very simple stuff, but you have to think about me if you want me to quickly support you for free, okay? Because <laughs> I get a lot of questions. I get like 10 or 15 comments a day. I do my best to answer them, but if I don't have time, I just can't, I can't pull it off. So you've got to think about, hey, how do I make this easier for Scott to digest so that he can get back to me? Let me give you an example of what a really good question was done. He sent this to YouTube at scottfictor.com. I think he's from overseas. His name is Vijay. He says, he asks the question, he puts in screen grabs, he highlights what he's been doing, and he wants to know this, that, and the other thing. And, I, and it was so beautifully formulated, I felt obligated to research a solution for him because he put in the time, the energy, and wrote it beautifully, and it was clear, and I felt obligated to help him. Can you see, I'm like producing this video because in my heart I feel, not guilty, but, um, you know, I feel, I feel bad that I can't help you for one reason or another. I'll give you another example. Uh, I get every once in a while, I'll get a, a question about, um, you know, a problem with someone trying to use their droid phone to use as a camera source in OBS Studio. Well, I don't have a droid phone, right? Or someone will chime in and say, hey man, I've got this Tascam mixer, it's using USB and I can't get the sound to work. Oh my God, man, I wish I could help you, but I don't have a Tascam mixer, right? I don't know how, how could I possibly know the answer to a question with third-party software when I don't have it? Like it's really hard to troubleshoot something if I can't produce it here at the studio. So, um, I'm awfully sorry. I just don't have answers to everything. And I'm honored that you would think I do. I really am honored that, that you think that I would have an answer. But when it comes to third-party software, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> so I apologize. If you go to the help tab in OBS Studio and select log file and then select, is it log file? Wait a minute. Hold on. It's the following. Help log files, view current log, it will list all the stuff that's giving problems with your OBS program. It'll tell you where there are errors. It will tell you what it won't load. Look at all this stuff right here. For some reason, open CV lower score, these, all these DLLs are not loading because it's not a plugin. I'm like thinking, my God, do I have a virus? I keep on scrolling down here in my log file. Look at all this stuff that failed to start. W-A-S-A-P-I device not starting. I don't even know what that is. Right now, my OBS seems to work, but there's stuff that's not loading, and it could cr create an issue down the road, right? Here's a 
oh, look, it's not loading my cam link because for some reason, because I guess it's being used by my Camtasia program right now. So it can't load the, the camera in one of the scenes. So it's telling me right here, can't load it. So this is a great way to start troubleshooting what's going on with your thing. You can take this log file and submit it to the forums over at OBS Studio, and someone will chime in and say, hey, dude, you, you know, your Windows isn't up to date, or hey, dude, your video uh, card it has drivers that are not up to date, and that's probably why you're getting black screen of death when you do X, Y, Z. So a good place to start is looking into the log file and posting it up at the forums. Anyway, I don't want to uh, take up all your time. I love you. I just wanted to make sure you understand my perspective on why sometimes I don't get back to you on a, on a, on a, on a question. Um, stay strong. Keep fighting. I'm going to be working on another video coming real soon where we take the image of a TV, and the TV may be a different aspect. So it may not be looking at the camera straight ahead, right? It may be slightly tilted. We're going to take my video feed and we're going to tilt it so it matches the tilt of the of the TV. And then we'll add special effect to it so it looks like the image of my face is actually a TV picture. So it's like an old school effect. I can't wait to dig into it with you. I'm going to try to make it as funny as I can. And that's what's coming down the pike. I will see you there when that video is posted. Best wishes to you. Stay strong and keep fighting. Okay, pal? Take it easy. Stay strong and keep fighting.